I'm a singer-songwriter from Liebers Fork, Tennessee, and I actually grew up in LA for about 14 years, um, most of my life. And I moved out to my, with my family out to Tennessee about five years ago. And for me, you know, I got started in musical theater when I was young, um, pursued it a lot for a couple of years, and I always wanted to start singing my own stuff and start, you know, performing things that weren't just, you know, Broadway numbers and such. And when I was about 15, I wrote my first song, and it sort of just took off from there. Now I can happily say I've got kind of a cool career playing over in China and touring there for the last three or four years, and it's been absolutely a wild, fantastic ride. I was the kid who wrote songs in high school. I was the guy who would, you know, sit down with a notebook and, you know, jot things down. Not necessarily lyrics, but ideas I was thinking about. I know I wanted to pursue music when I was about 15, after I started writing my own songs. Because to me, that's when it became real. You know, singing covers was like, you know, a nice version of karaoke, which isn't a bad thing. I love singing some of my favorite songs, but it didn't become real to me until I started writing my own songs. I remember it was a little stressful kind of having to break it to my parents because both, you know, come from a traditional business world. And I'm really happy to say though, they took it really well and have supported it ever since. And the only stipulation they have was that I go to college and graduate, which I can say happily, I'm at Belmont University studying songwriting and my main minor's in Chinese. So it benefits me in my career anyway. For the writing aspect, you know, these are songs from my life. They're not, you know, fabricated. They're not, you know, something I don't know. There's stuff I've lived through and stuff that my, me and my friends have gone through and, you know, heartbreaks and romances and, you know, growing up and figuring out who you are as a young adult. For me, the, the biggest thing, you know, before going on stage is making sure that, you know, we give as much back as, you know, the audience gives us, if not more. For me, most of my good songs or songs I'm proud of have been written, you know, at you know about three to four to five p.m. like late afternoon. That's usually where I feel the most comfortable and the most relaxed to kind of jump into that writing headspace. But that being said, though, I've had moments where I woke up in the middle of the night and just jotted down a chorus or lyrics because I had to. I knew if I was gonna, you know, go to sleep, I had to do this real quick. I remember there was one thing in freshman year where I was 15 and this girl who I really cared about had this giant, giant crush on, had her sweet 16 and we, she and I talked quite a bit. I thought we were decent friends and I wasn't trying to push anything, but you know, I, I kind of thought we were close and I remember at the time that I did not get invited to her Sweet 16. I found out that most of the class did, and I was really offended. And I ended up writing in five to 10 minutes the original draft of Just Thought You Should Know, which since has taken on a completely different life of its own. It's been, you know, now I sing it in Chinese, which I, I if you had told the 15 year old me, this one girl who's ticking you off now is gonna send you, you know, this song is gonna send you across the world and you'll be singing it to, you know, thousands of people, I would have laughed. I mean, it's just, it's amazing how music shifts and moves. And for me at the time, after I wrote it, I felt a lot better. I wasn't, you know, bitter or anything because I kind of got that bitterness out in one song and I, you know, was very cordial the next day. <laughs> There's a Chinese dish that I absolutely love called Mapa tofu, or as we know it as spicy tofu. And it's a Chengdu dish that I started eating there about four years ago. And it's a staple on tour that, you know, I've eaten it every chance I get, no matter what city I'm in. I just love, you know, how much spice there is in it, because it's, it's a seriously spicy dish. And, you know, to couple that with the tofu, the rice, the vegetables, I could have that any day of the week. I'm just so stunned at how well the last tour went. You know, we toured 10 cities, most of which we'd never been to before. The ticket sales were great. The fans were phenomenal. The CD sales, actually, we sold out all of our CDs, which I did not anticipate. We didn't bring enough. So to my fans in China, I'm sorry, we'll bring more. I didn't know that y'all love the CDs that much. I figured that, you know, the t-shirts would be bigger. We're learning. I promise we'll get better at it. <laughs> 
I hope in the next year, you know, I want to um, improve my language, which is why I'm going to be studying in Beijing from January to March to just immerse myself more in the culture and just um, practice my language skills a bit more. And I'm very excited that, you know, later this year in late November and early December, we'll be releasing a brand new album um, with my good friends Rick Chudikoff and Arlo Lucas that I've been working on for about two years. And I'm really excited about it because some of my fans may have heard these songs during live shows and this is the full production effort and I'm really proud of these songs and I'm proud of this album. And I think it'll be a really, really cool experience to share with the fans what I've been up to. You know, you guys are incredible. You really are. And the amount you've changed my life has been unparalleled and unmatched. And, you know, I'm, I'm very proud to say I've, I think I've got some amazing fans. Every time you do that click or you listen to that song, you buy that album, you're, you're directly affecting my life. So thank you so much for the continued support and the continued interest. And I hope that I can keep bringing you what you want to hear and what you want to hear me sing. And stay tuned. I'm very excited for what's coming up next.